All right, this is a demonstration video uh, for the new version of the C. Davis Systems and Software Seal Plug Insertion Guns, the SPGs. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you familiar with the older style gun, we've made a lot of revisions to it. Uh, like with everything else we do, we try to do continuous uh, product improvement and uh, evolution. Um, and we've had a number of these guns in heavy use out in the field over the last few years come back to us for service and repair or rework if the plug design changed. Uh, and so um, we always look at where these things wear and listen to the customer feedback and try to develop the products. And so you'll see that it looks quite a bit different than something you might have seen before. Uh, the uh, gun itself... Uh, which now has a positive retention holster, has changed substantially because um, it is now uh, fully electronic. The trigger um, and the tip safety are both electrical switches. Uh, and so it is no longer a series of uh, kind of pneumatic switches. Um, we found them to not be reliable enough for industrial production, and so it's all electronic now. Um, the biggest complaints that we had heard were about the tip safety, and it is now on an electrical switch. So it is much more reliable um, uh, and should be a lot more effective. Uh, we also saw a lot of damage to the guns um, from uh, what appeared to be falling on the floor uh, because this parts tube um, and, uh, you know, the umbilical cord that connects it to the machine um, is relatively stiff. Uh, we need the... Uh, the kind of inflexible, semi-inflexible tubing uh, for the parts so it doesn't get a kink and then the parts stick. Um, and that had enough force to kind of flip the gun off the table if people weren't careful. Uh, and so that would damage the tips, which we used to make out of brass. Uh, and uh, we had to sell a lot of replacement tips because they were getting deformed from landing on the floor. Now they're made out of stainless steel. Uh, they should be uh, quite a bit more robust. Uh, also enables us to make them a bit thinner uh, so as to fit into tighter cavities. Uh, and the other thing to keep it from falling on the floor is this positive retention holster, which is built into the, um, the base plate. And so now when the gun isn't in use, you can seat it in the holster and it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so uh, e either leaving it on the, the bench top where you're working or picking up the entire unit and putting it into a storage facility when it's not in use. Uh, there is an electrical cabinet now um, uh, because uh, the system now is uh, electrical valves, um, which are actuated by the electronics, um, and there's a, a large industrial-grade contactor switching between it, so it should have a very good cycle life. Uh, and like our other seal plug systems, this is you know for loose parts. Uh, so the parts are just poured into the bowl here, and um, they feed and cycle automatically. Uh, so once the system is on, um, the operator uh, should really only be concerned with depressing the tip safety and pulling the trigger, and the machine should run itself. Um, there are two controls on the new cabinet. There's a power switch, and then over here on the side is a ball speed control. Uh, and uh, the ball speed, once you get it set, really doesn't need to be messed with, um, and many of our customers actually remove the knob uh, so their employees don't mess with the ball speed. Uh, so um, in order for these machines to run, in addition to the parts in the bowl, you need to plug it into 110 one AC, just a standard three-prong plug, and it needs to be connected to uh, clean, dry, compressed air um, of about 80 or 90 pounds, uh, like that. And so once that's in, you can switch the machine on and the bowl will start up. Uh, now, unlike some of our other systems, the seal plugs require the vibratory bowl driver to be on and running for proper feeding. So if, for whatever reason, the bowl is turned off, uh, it won't cycle properly. But with that done, the system is ready to use. And inserting a seal plug is really as simple as aligning the tip with one of the cavities, depressing the tip safety, pulling the trigger, and you have an insertion. It is that simple. Uh, now, these are big white Deutsch plugs. Why? You can put these in by hand with your fingers. And we make these seal plug insertion systems for a variety of different plug sizes, and I always thought that the big white ones were kind of a why. 
And then I did a little bit of the seal plug insertion and I realized that doing this, that's quick. That might be almost as quick to do it with your fingers if you get good at it, but even a very skilled operator will have a hard time doing it that fast. But the other thing that is a huge advantage is that you can do this all day and putting them in manually is gonna give you a repetitive stress injury. And if you've ever had one of those at a work site, it very quickly becomes a lot more expensive than buying a piece of equipment that not only increases the productivity, but keeps your employees safe and happy. So this is the version 2.0 of the C. Davis Systems and Software seal plug gun. Uh, these are the big white TE Deutsch plugs, um, but we have made these for a wide variety of seal plugs. Uh, and uh, you know, with the new stainless steel tips, we can get into even very tight cavities with this. You know, those little scalloped corners are totally doable with the new guns. Uh, so, uh, those of you that have these systems out in the field, uh, you'll see that it's changed a lot. 